Welcome to our Tips and Tricks webcast series on IBM Cognos TM1. This session will demonstrate a unique feature developed by Veracities on demand supply optimization. This newly built concept will facilitate business analysts to circumvent supply chain management challenges faced frequently by most of the leading organizations. Let's take an example to understand the challenges faced in managing outbound logistics. Here, we have two manufacturing units, namely BMW and MIMW. These units would manufacture products and cater to various subsidiaries like Go Americas, Go Asia Pacific, Go Europe. Hence, now the question arises, how to explore the valid routes from all these available set of combinations such that it will end our maximum contribution to the company. Quite often, most of the business units are bound by two principal constraints. First is the production capacity and second being sales demand. The major attributes influencing these two constraints are virgin, month, plant, product, subsidiary and channel. Now our objective is to derive optimal allocations subjected to supply and demand constraints which in turn will provide maximum contribution at the organizational level. All these optimization problems can only be solved by linear programming. Thus, in the conventional method, the organization followed a three-stage lengthy process which required the user to first compile the data in TM1 model. This data would be then processed by a third-party optimizer and eventually the optimized solution would be transferred back into the TM1 model for further analysis. However, this elongated process is now been eliminated, thereby improving the overall speed and efficiency. Veracities has now augmented demand supply optimization feature in TM1 which will enable the user to optimize net realization on real time. TM1, in addition to analysis and what if, will now impart greater intelligence by getting equipped with optimization which is of utmost need in every industry. Let us conceptualize the entire model with the help of the following illustration. The analyst logs into the TM1 web application to access the TM1 optimizer. The optimizer dashboard specifies the following particulars required to apprehend the model. On the left hand side, we will ingress sales demand, production capacity, route wise net realization per unit and net realization. Similarly, on the right hand side, we will be able to monitor the statistics of optimization in progress. Let us deduce each and every application of the model so as to conceive it better. In sales demand view, the data is compiled by the regional sales manager depending on various ongoing trends in the market. The primary iteration undertaken is based on the maximum demand generated in the respective subsidiaries through particular channels or products. On similar grounds, in plant capacity view, each plant controller manifests their principal iteration based on the maximum capacity available of their respective plants. In the root-wise net realization view, the information is furnished related to the contribution generated by each manufacturing unit through particular channels in the respective subsidiary. Once we have attained the necessary information, our objective is to obtain maximum net realization value by allocating production capacity to the individual markets. Thus, subjected to the plant capacity and sales demand constraint, we can optimize the net realization to the company using simplex algorithm. We will now run the optimizer which will trigger the simplex algorithm built in the backend. A compendious statement of the transactions in process can be monitored. 
In the current scenario, there are 22 independent slices, which is a unique combination of virgin, month, and product. The summary will render a statistics related to the estimated time for completion of entire optimization, the number of variables or constraints processed, number of slices processed, the total number of iterations conducted, and the time remaining to complete the processing. The outcome of the entire operation can be viewed in the net realization view which displays the allocated demand for the products in the respective subsidiaries along with the average contribution and the maximum net realization value. The optimized value can be drilled down and can be traced in the respective views. In sales demand view, we will now be able to see the optimized demand against the maximum demand. We can also stipulate that on completion of the optimization process, there are certain product specific subsidiaries which are not being catered to due to low contribution or production unavailability. Similarly, in plant capacity, the optimized capacity will be displayed along with the maximum production. However, there still remains certain amount of unutilized capacity due to lack of high value demand in the market. Consider that after the optimization result is delineated, the analyst envisages that the company has to develop new markets seeking to long-term growth prospects. Hence, in the sales demand view for a particular subsidiary, say Go Americas, and channel, namely department store, the analyst will seize the minimum demand for products like lanterns, eyewear, etc. Hence, again by stimulating the optimizer, the inbuilt intelligence will automatically be initiated, which detects only the altered slices, thus speeding up the entire process and enabling the analyst to perform multiple iterations in a short span of time, enhancing the performance of the tool. This is the unique feature of the application, as it captures all the niche specifications and has been built taking into consideration the time, speed, and efficiency quotient of the user. Thus, the sales demand view will reflect the optimized demand and the unserved demand with set combinations. Similarly, it will also show its impact over the net realization to the company. Hence, Veracity's new inbuilt demand supply optimization feature imparts TM1, a modern edge over conventional systems by enabling it to individually achieve results, which would otherwise require multiple supporting applications, thereby reducing process complexities and empowering the user to optimize his business with greater ease.